Hey guys and girls, my name is Alan and welcome to today's video. So the gameplay you're about to watch is a solo match on Fortnite and it's one of my more recent matches. Normally I'd use like a legacy piece of gameplay but this is quite a recent one and this is actually a match that I was streaming a couple of nights ago on my Twitch channel. Um, as you can tell from all the, the stuff on the screen, this is taken from a live stream obviously. And I've spruced it up, I've seen a couple of other streamers do this. I've decided to add some Christmas decorations to my stream overlay and it's the first time I've ever done this. I've never really streamed before. It's the first Christmas that I've properly well, I say properly streamed, um, you know, put in a few hours into streaming. And I thought, you know what, some of those other people's layouts are really cool. So I thought I'd add my own twist to mine. And uh, so I add some Christmas lights to the top, as you can see, a couple of holly leaves and berries to the corners and a little snowman in the bottom left corner. I think it looks kind of cool. Um, I mean, it was, it was, you know, it was interesting for me because I've never done this sort of thing before. So it was nice to just be able to tinker with it. And uh, it's just, it's just fun to get into the spirit of things. And as I said in the past, I'm a big fan of Christmas, so I do enjoy, you know, just decorating and, and that sort of stuff and just making stuff look festive. Right. So my previous video was the first in, what, several months uh, before I went to my trip to America. And in that video, I talk about why it's been so long since I've done anything for my channel and why I've been off the grid when it comes to Twitch as well. And I was only in America for three weeks, uh, but something happened when I came back. I won't go into detail now because I kind of talk about it then. And basically, I, I wasn't at home, therefore I, I couldn't, you know, I couldn't make videos, I couldn't stream, I did had none of my equipment with me. Well, not most of it anyway. And so I, I couldn't really produce anything or, or stream anything because the internet just wasn't good enough. The long and short of it is I'm now back at home and pretty much back to, well, I say normal, but I'm I'm getting back on top of things. So I'm making videos and most nights I'm now back to streaming. My hours aren't quite set yet, but I'm sort of getting into a routine of jumping online and playing. And while my hours are a bit stupid because I do stream really late at night, because that's when I get finished doing all the rest of the stuff, I'm working on jumping on earlier because I know that, well, for most people, uh, midnight and stuff like that is sort of bedtime. And if I want to catch viewers, and indeed if I want to share gameplay live with the majority of British people, then I'm going to have to jump on a bit earlier. Earlier for the general public, but, you know, sort of average times for me. So uh, we'll, have to, we'll have to work on that. Uh, I'll see how it goes. So as the title and the thumbnail suggests, today's video is going to be all about my predictions uh, and my guesses for Season 7. Season 7 will be dropping tomorrow, I believe. Um, as of now, there's been no delays announced. And Epic Games slash Fortnite have been teasing uh, the start of the new season. So they dropped a couple of images. I'll put one on the screen now and I'll put one on directly afterwards as well. And this is probably going to be in a similar vein to what they did with uh, the previous season. So they'll just show a picture, another picture, another picture. And maybe the picture will go together or something at the end. Um, the main thing to take from the first picture is that in the background, I think I can see the Aurora Borealis. Is that how you pronounce it? So the Northern Lights. So they might change the sky slightly. Um, there is a snow storm supposedly on the way. You can sort of see it from the starting island at the moment. It gets closer every single day. Some people did spot that apparently there's also an island moving towards us uh, and on the island is like a, a building like a castle tower structure of some sort and the lights came on in that structure a few days ago so could be linked um i think uh the, the contents of the castle you know the thing inside of it is probably going to be one of these images that's shown to us whether or not the images are actually going to be the exact same thing or it's just alluding to that character um stands to be seen I think that the final unlock, so the, the final tier of the battle pass will be something wintry related like a ice prince or abominable snowman or yeti. Then again, they did a werewolf this season, so I don't know if they're going to do another animal for the next season. Um, but it'll be something like that, I reckon. And obviously along the way, there'll be loads of Christmassy themed stuff and I'm looking forward to it so much. Like I've never really been excited for a season as much as this season. And there's two reasons for that. One, it's Christmas themed. Well, I'm assuming it's going to be Christmas themed and I love Christmas. Uh, and two, I have never bought a season pass for Fortnite. I've been playing this game for over a year now. I've never bought a season pass. And I've never bought a single item from the store ever unless it's been free but I don't know if that constitutes as buying something from the store so this season will be the first ever time that I buy a season pass because I've saved up enough V-Bucks over the course of the year to buy a season pass so I won't even be spending actual money it's actually credits that I've saved up from playing the game over the course of the past six seasons and I finally have enough V-Bucks to buy a season pass so I'm really excited to do that on the other hand I'm a little bit sort of I don't know whether I want to do it because I've gone this long without buying a battle pass and all my friends and everyone knows me for not buying a battle pass and not buying a skin I'm that person right I've never spent a single penny on this game and I suppose in true sense I'm not going to be spending any money on the on the game at all but I will have skins and that's going to change my you know my locker right I'm going to have skins to, to have to put on and so I'm I'm not necessarily a no skin no skin I will be 
well, I hate to say it, but I might even be a poser now, as Tifu would put it. Um, I have skins, I just don't use them, you know? Um, and I, I don't know, I don't want to be that guy. Because, I, you know, I, I'd rather be a no-skin, no-skin, not a no-skin who just chooses to be a no-skin for the sake of being a no-skin, even though they have skins. I think this is getting a bit more complex now than necessary, but... So I, I will probably get it because I do play with friends and they do miss out on the XP boost when I'm playing with them. Um, I mean, I hope my, you know, my teamwork is sufficient enough to, to warrant me a place on the squad, but I, I do feel like they are missing out. Um, but the other side of it is, of course, it is going to be Christmas themes. So I'm looking forward to seeing what they've got in the Battle Pass and... Maybe. Um, if, if, the, if the Battle Pass is terrible, then I'll just hold off and not buy it. But I think it's going to be decent. I hope it's going to be decent. And if so, then I will, of course, purchase my free Battle Pass. Right, so down to the predictions of the actual season itself. Uh, I've already talked about the, the final unlock of what I think it's going to be. I've talked about the, the tiers leading up to that point. I do believe that um, they will probably change the map. It's inevitable at this point, I think, that they're going to change some of the map to wintry scenes. Uh, I don't think they're going to do the entire map. I think Nevada, Las Vegas is going to stay the same. I don't think that's going to change because it wouldn't really make any sense. But I do think certain, certain areas such as maybe Pleasant Park stretching all the way down or the Greenland might get covered in patches of snow if not completely covered in snow. Uh, I do think the storm might change from a, a, you know, like a, a rainstorm to like a blizzard wintry storm. I think that'd be cool. If not, my other theory is that they might make certain sections of the map more wintry, more snowy than others. So you'll be going into a section where it's like almost white out blizzard conditions and then you go to another area and it's just sort of light snow sort of thing. I think it'd be kind of cool. Logistically, I don't know how that's going to happen. I mean, it, who knows, right? The Fortnite are uh, ever changing their, their things. So um, it'd be interesting to see uh, what they do. Moving on to weapons, uh, I think they're going to bring back the Snowball Launcher. I wasn't a massive fan of it um, when they first dropped yeah, it last year, but I think they're going to bring it back. Uh, they're going to bring back the Christmas drop for sure. They might even bring back a different type of drop. So we just had like a, a reskinned version of a supply drop last time. I think they might actually put in like a specific Christmas drop with extra goodies in it. You know what I mean? Um, I think they might dress up the llamas. They definitely will dress up the, the bushes again, just like last year. They might even dress up some of the pine trees that we see around the map. Uh, in terms of decorations, without a doubt, they'll put up Christmas decorations on certain buildings, just like they did with the Halloween stuff. Speaking of, that one vacant shop in Retail Row, for sure they're going to turn it into a Christmas shop. For sure. I would put good money on that happening. Now, there's other rumours floating around that certain areas might change with the update. I think Flush Factory is a strong contender for this. I also think places like Junk Junction might get a workover as well. I think it'd be really, well, I mean, it'd be interesting if they change Flush Factory at all, but if they do change it, I think it could be definitely something Christmas themed, like um, Santa's, not necessarily Santa's Grotto, but like the like a workshop, like a North Pole workshop. So there could be a present factory or something like that. I think that'd be really cool. Um, but yeah, I just, I, I'm really excited for this. Um, as I said, mainly because it's Christmas and I, I really do enjoy Christmas. Therefore, I really want to see all this stuff come into play. How much of it I get right? Well, that'll be, uh, that'll be a discussion for a future video. Hopefully, as I said, not too long in between this one and that one. The other thing that I think they're going to tinker with as well are the vehicles. At the moment, we have the quad bike and the, well, the quad crasher, and then the golf cart, the golf buggy, the ATK, whatever you want to call it. And I think those might get a tweak in terms of skins. I think it'd be really novel if they made them into like Santa sled or just sleighs in general, you know, like winter sleighs, or maybe even like toboggans, that sort of thing. I mean, whether or not they actually add new vehicles at all is one thing, but I think they could potentially reskin those um, because the, the assets are really there. So it, it's just, I think, to me, it's just too good an opportunity to miss. But who knows? I don't, I just, I don't know what the limitations are of, of the software and stuff to, to implement this sort of stuff. But going on what they've done in the past, it's not entirely implausible. Um, I do think that this will be the final season of Ice Traps. As soon as uh, season seven is done, winter's done, I think they're going to take it out and possibly bring back bouncers. Um, whether or not they added a new piece of equipment at all, I don't know. New weapons. Um, we've had quite a few so far. They're constantly always adding weapons anyway, so I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if they did add more weapons, uh, the more the better. But always looking forward to trying out new stuff. And the final thing that I think they might change regarding the map is Leaky Lake might be frozen over. So I missed out on when Leaky Lake, well, I missed out when Loot Lake was that bouncy purple stuff because I was in America. Hopefully, if they do something fun this time around, I'll be there to enjoy it. And I think if they freeze it all over, uh, so you slip and slide, not necessarily with ice cubes on your feet like the ice traps do, but just slip and slide in general as if you were, you know, ice. I think that would be pretty hilarious to see in action, especially when you're in the middle of a fight. All right, then. So that's pretty much everything I want to talk about before the start of season seven. 
and more. I didn't honestly predict that I was going to talk for this long. It was honestly just meant to be a couple of minutes intro into this live gameplay commentary, but it's actually turned into a full-blown gameplay commentary, me talking about the entirety of Season 7 and my predictions for it. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the video and the content. If it did, do consider tapping the like button. I really do appreciate it. And if you're new to the channel, you like what you see, consider hitting that subscribe button. It really does help me out. And you, obviously you get notified of any future videos that I post as well to the channel. As I said, this gameplay was taken from a live stream. Now, I don't usually play solos. This just happened to be a really good match um, that I, I thought was worthy of posting to my channel. I usually play duos and squads only uh, with friends most of the time, but sometimes I play with followers as well. If you fancy checking me out sometime live, then do head over to my Twitch channel. The link is on the screen. It's also in the description below as well, so you can just click on that. If you're ever on Twitch sometime, come check me out. Um, you know, we'll have a chat, we'll talk about stuff, and uh, maybe you can let me know how your season's going. And obviously, we can just talk more about the new season seven. I will most definitely be streaming a lot more of season seven than I have any of the other seasons in the past, mainly because I'm now in a position where I can do so, but also because I have a lot more that I could potentially share, such as completing challenges and just all that stuff. So I'm looking forward to it, really, really excited, and uh, hopefully, it's going to be a good season. As I said, my bet is on a bunch of Christmas stuff, a bunch of wintry theme stuff, and I do love all of that, so hopefully it's going to be all good. Let's go. Mmm. Drop that turret on me. Woo. First solo match of the night. First win. Let's get it. Seven kills. All right. Damn, I'm happy with that. That was a good game. I do say to myself, I think I've improved a little bit, you know, my solo game. Nice. So yeah, that'll pretty much do it for today's video. I don't think I'm going to be able to get another one out before the start of Season 7. I will probably be streaming the very start of Season 7. I'm not too sure yet if I'm going to stream the part where I buy the Battle Pass for the first time, but I'm definitely going to record it and post it to the channel just in case of which way I decide to do it. So if you've got a preference, let me know in the comment section below. Um, but we'll have to wait and see how that goes. But yeah, until next time, as always, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, take care, and I will see you later.